God has given us the Bible through which we are brought to the saving knowledge of Christ. In other words, if you want to know about Jesus Christ, you don't go to Safeway. If you want to know about Jesus Christ, you don't even go to Mount Rainier. The Bible has been given to us for the purpose that we might know Him. Now this is very important. Let me give you a couple of illustrations here. People really misunderstand this. People who are not well informed about the Christian faith or about the Bible often don't really understand the main purpose of the Bible. Let me give you an illustration. Let's say I'm downtown Seattle, I'm in Pioneer Square, I've got my clergy garb on, and I've got a clipboard, and I tell people, uh, business people at lunch and everything, I'm taking a religious survey. Oh, okay. And I'm asking them questions, but here's the real question I'm asking them. Why did God give us the Bible? I mean, even if you don't believe there is a God or whatever, but just in your opinion, your knowledge, why did God give us the Bible? Now, the average response, unless they've been to an adult information class, or something similar, and this is based upon my personal experiences as well as lots of reading and research, the average typical response is, God gave us the Bible to show us how to live a good life. God gave us the Bible, right, for the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And that's wrong. Now listen how I say this, because my language is very important. How we live, how we live, is one reason that God gave us the Bible. But it's not the main one. What's the main reason God gave us the Bible? It's right in the Bible passage. The sacred writings are able to what? Instruct you for salvation. The main purpose of receiving the Bible is to know how much God loves you. Now, probably many of you, if not all of you, know John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he told us how to live. <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> No. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Now let me tell you why this is important. Number one, because this is the truth about the Bible. And number two, if you don't understand that the primary message of the Bible is about God's love for you in Jesus Christ, you will have a tendency to look at this Bible as a rule book, a guide for living. That's not the main reason. Now, I don't know about you, but if this is a rule book, <laughs> whew, I think I'd rather not. Thank you. I can barely keep the 10 that I know about. Do you understand my point? If this is a rule book, you're going to be either not very likely to want to read this, or after a while you're going to get all bogged down and say, okay, that's enough of that. I, you know, I can't keep half of them anyway, so why should I bother? But if you understand if you understand the real meaning of the Bible, that the main purpose of this book is to show you how much God loves you, John 3.16, you might be a little bit more inclined to read this. And it's the difference between looking at the Bible as a rule book or a love letter. This is a love letter. That's the main reason God gave us the Bible, is so that we know why it might know about this and have forgiveness of our sins and peace with God and meaning and purpose to life, and the hope of victory over death in the resurrection to everlasting life. It's all love. God so loved the world. Now, are there things in here about living for Him? Yeah, we're going to talk about that in lesson number eight. That's about good works. But it's secondary. Because you're going to hear, and I don't know what you already believe or don't believe on this, you are not saved by keeping the rules. Nobody's saved by keeping the rules. Because what I'm going to show you, nobody can keep them good enough. We're only saved by God's love and mercy in Jesus Christ, as I'll show you. That's why it's important, too.